I guess the first one I'll start with um, is our son's graduation uh, present. So, okay. Uh, despite uh, my youthful appearance, I do have a son that is going into high school now, which makes me feel very. That's old. unreal, eh? Yeah. Um, but uh, for his grad present, we decided we to get him a Chromebook. Cool. Yeah. So uh, we have never owned a Chromebook before. Lots of different computers and whatnot. But we needed to have something that allowed him the flexibility of applications. But also the integration with the programs and the um, different infrastructure that the school board uses. Yeah. So and we, these days, if I may, like ev- everything's going online, right? So exactly. Yeah. So we looked at you know we started with the you know really small budget of Amazon Fire tablets, right. and we're like, yeah, this isn't really going to work. Mm-hmm. And then we started looking at you know we 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 looked at the gamut. It's like oh, there's you know six thousand dollars for a, a MacBook Pro. It's like I'm not doing that for mm-hmm. for a grade nine. And so we settled on this uh, Chromebook from uh, Asus. And it's one of the only ones on the market right now that uh, converts to a tablet. That's so cool. you flip it over mm-hmm. and you have full 13 um, inch tablet mode. So is it touch screen like with your finger? It is a touch screen ah, with, cool. with Gorilla Glass. Yeah. Um, and he absolutely loves it. And so because it is. Um, it is the Chromebook. You have access to the Google Play Store. And so all of his apps that he has used through Google Play on his phones, he has access to. But also because of that, it integrates with what the school board does through the Google Docs and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's really, uh, it was quite a cost-effective option for uh, a young child. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I don't know if I can call him a child anymore. He's now a teenager. Yeah. But but for uh, you know somebody who's learning technology, the responsibility of being... Um, you know, on their own device, but in a way that is safe. Mm -hmm. And so that was one of the key components is we needed something that was safe. That wasn't going to be, you know, I didn't want to have to worry about a ton of viruses and stuff like that. And obviously you have to be smart, smart with apps and the app store and what you Mm -hmm. download. Um, but it's, it was, but it's a really good way, uh, for getting him into the market and we understand it. Uh, he was a little bit bummed that Chromebooks do not run Minecraft, but, um, (laughs) that's all right. I want him to be doing school, not Minecraft. Yeah, it's an interesting shift in the paradigm, though, isn't it? Yeah. Because now it's not like the old days. Oh, to call it the old days. <laughs> you don't know, right? you don't buy like a CD and right. pop it in the optical drive and install the program. You you basically you, it's like a phone. You go mm-hmm. through the app store and pick the apps that you want. I'm sure he'll find other apps, and you can't install like a. I, I mean, this is off off the cuff, but can you install like an Android version of, of Minecraft? Like does such a thing? Um, so he can, it's, it has to do with the, uh, architecture within, um, how it, it, uh, the like Chromebook the processor, is, the SOC. No, no. Like the, um, like the, the programming architecture. So it's mm-hmm. not because, um, Minecraft is Java based. The Chromebooks don't have Java. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Total shift in the way things work, and it's yeah. interesting that, that like the, with the education system going to this like work online, and we're communicating now with like Google Meet, I guess mm-hmm. it's called, is it? Yep, Google Meet, Zoom, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, right. So, so all of those work, which is great. I mean, yeah. really, the only limitation we found so far was Minecraft. I'm like, if that's, that's the, crazy, if that's the biggest worry you've got. Then yeah. we did all right. And so uh, it's funny. We a couple of days ago we were at. Um, we went to Staples, mm-hmm. and so they've got all their different devices out on display. And he went looking for his because he's like, he wanted to know how much it was. And, oh yes, you know, yeah. didn't want to tell him. But he started looking at other devices. He's like, this one's really expensive, and it doesn't look as nice as mine. And this mm-hmm. one's expensive; mm-hmm. it doesn't look as nice as mine. And he's like, wow, you guys did all right. Way to go, mom and dad. <laughs> and I'm like, nice. Dad win. <laughs> and Jen was part of it. I, I, dad win. <laughs> now he's so he's presumably 13. Yes, he'll be okay. 14 in November. All right, so. Like with my kids, um, two of them are under 13. So their Google account is provided by the education system. So I have this fear with if they started using a Chromebook that when they graduate, the education system might shut down their account and they'd lose like their files and everything else. Like do we... So I would presume because he's 13 and you've got to be 13 plus that he's created his own Google account. Yes. Yeah. And we... So we... 
we created the account for him. We, uh, I still retain the ownership of it, so to speak. Like he doesn't okay. even have the like the parent mode. That's right. Cool. So he doesn't have the password and stuff. And, and that is for the purpose of a safe monitoring. Yeah. I can, uh, it tells me when he signs up for something. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have reports on how he uses his device that goes to his email. So he can start to learn now what his usage statistics mm -hmm. are. Um, and some might, some might think that that sounds a little big brotherish, but I think as a father, like, it's really important that we, uh, that we help keep our kids accountable and, and keep them safe because there's so much nasty stuff out there right now oh, so. and not just like, and there's malware. I mean, we're hearing about malware in the, in the play store and stuff that's yeah. spying on things and, and clipboards that get uploaded to various servers and things like that. So, yeah. so it can be scary. Yeah. But what the, the nice thing is because it's a, a relatively safe device yeah. and because of that um, parental input yeah. with having the email and whatnot, I can teach him how to safely use his computer. Cool. I can, uh, you know, and I've taught him uh, how to access, um, you know, like all of his cross Google, uh, you know, his extensions, his history, all that kind of stuff oh, because yeah. it syncs it up. And yeah. so he's like, Oh, oh, right. Because as soon as, so he's done something on his Chromebook and then he can log into Chrome on the family computer That's and suddenly correct. he's got access to all of his things. That's right. So I'm, I'm starting to teach him in a safe environment that, you know, sync nature and the back yeah. and forth compatibility. And, and it's, it's really fun as a dad being able to watch my son go to the next level. And it's not just like, you know, when I was a kid and it's like, you get a computer and you just do things for the yeah. sake of learning it's like i'm actually working him through it so that he understands it has a better um more mature outlook on what he can do and what he should do and shouldn't do and it's uh it's good it's excellent good. yeah sounds like a great gift